We're going hazy. We're going uh, hazy. That's terrible. <laughs> no, it's staying in there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Forgot. You keep talking. I'm gonna do a little. Uh, I don't know. Is this some focus? Oh, we're gonna do the thing. Is this some focus? Uh, no. I mean, kind of. I am. I look great. Okay. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Uh. No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Brickstone Brewery, going hazy from the hazed up <laughs> H-A-Z apostrophe D hazed, hazed up series. I think this is the third release in the series, at least in cans. I think they've done, uh, they started it as a track only at the group up in uh, Bourbon A, Bourbon A, Bourbon A, Illinois. But yeah, this is the third can release. The last one was Triple H, which, uh... Oh, right. I didn't try that, but I remember when you had the Triple H. Uh, yeah, I borrowed a toy from a uh, Everado customer. Thank you very much again if you're watching this. It's not a bigger customer, so I don't know if he watches these, but. 7% hazy IPA, double dry hopped with Huel. Huel Milon. Huel Milon. I think that's a uh, German, German grown hop, but uh, has a lot of like, a lot of melon notes naturally. I would imagine. And Galaxy. So? And Citra. Did you say Citra? No, I don't. I skipped straight to Galaxy. Yeah, it's yeah, exciting. You just assume Citra is in all these beers. Citra's in all these beers. It's crazy. <laughs> yes. And you're a big fan of Galaxy. Yeah. You've become a big fan of Galaxy. Yes. I mean, Galaxy is awesome. My cat's name is Galaxy. He's also very good. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. It's spelled weird. And it's Vince Cat. He just likes me more. Um, so. Yeah. Brickstone. Brickstone. Uh, they. We have another Brickstone beer. Aaron and I did. But yeah, we never did. <laughs> no, Brickstone, they're awesome. They're um, they're mostly known for their pale ales, like uh, their APA back in. Oh uh, yeah. So the APA is like their their big flagship. Back in 2012, I believe, at the Great American Beer Festival, that beer won gold for the American Pale Ale category. Brickstone, I don't know. They just know how to make very. Very good beer. It's just always without flaws. Like it's just like a well-oiled machine. Like, I don't understand it. Again, we need to do a back beer. Somehow. Well, we haven't tried this yet, so maybe this is that. If I doubt it, it's gonna be really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the aroma, I mean, it's fruity, but there's a lot of herbaceous notes going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I get some sweet basil right off the bat on that. I, I think a lot of that's going to come from the Hill Malone hops, because uh, German hops, by even though if they have a fruity note, they're going to have a lot of like spicy herbaceous notes. Just because that's how hops are in that region. You have the whole classic noble hops, like your your old OG lagers. Yeah, yeah lagers. So like naturally, that almost I think. Every hop I've had from that region have been had some of that like that with spicy, woody, herbaceous. It is really herbaceous. There's uh, some time. So that's coming through, which is actually really cool. Just a little extra layer of depth to the nice. No, it's, it's potent too. Yeah. There's still orange peel and everything. Yeah, all the fruity big spots. It's, it's there. But with more. Getting into it. Clink. I think smelling it. Whoa. Yeah. So that, that basil and the finish is huge. Finish, all that herbaceousness mm -hmm. and comes in and it helps, well, it comes in with a little bit of the hot bitterness, drying it really well. Briefly sweet on the palate. Mm -hmm. uh, just a flash, just to get that juice note. But it's washed away, really drying the finish, but yeah, all those. But it's, like, it's lingering, you're getting that rindy finish mixed with a little bit of the, those herbs. It's very much like your standard Midwest herb garden kind of herbaceousness of you. Basil, thyme, rosemary. Do you know it's this is just like sticking your face in like, you know, your Aunt Jarrah's small little window cellar garden. Do you have Aunt and Jera? I've never heard that name before. Yeah. Hi Aunt Jera. Aunt Jera. This would go extremely well with pizza. Pizza! I was saying the same thing. It's the herbaceousness of it, but it's refreshing at the same time. Yeah, it's not like sweet where the mix It'll in. also just strip all the, the pizza grease off your palate and that finish. 
This is a good pizza beer. This is a good pizza beer. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's uh. I've had a lot of Brickstone. They're just so well made always. See, that's I didn't really know that, and they're, I, they're, honestly, it's a I, company that I think I kind of overlooked. For they're honestly time. so underrated. Like they're not. They don't get the attention they deserve. I don't believe. I think they do really well on the subjects where they're at. They're hovering out there, but mm-hmm. I don't know. They're way better than people really let on, I think. Often overlooked, but always great. I dig this a lot. We have been tasting a lot of kind of similar style beers. This has got, uh, it's refined. Yeah, so far, yeah. it's, 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 when you taste a lot of the style, they all start blending together here and there. Like, there might maybe slight nuances, but overall they're like very similar. I think this has got one of the cleaner finishes yeah. off of uh, a New England style. I'm I'm I would, I'm a huge huge. Uh, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm, I'm so <laughs> no, I personally am all for a clean, dry, slightly bitter finish on the style. See, I think that this finish there it's bitter, it's dry, but it's clean as it possibly be. This is just. Queen's whistle! Really? Yeah. Whistle. Whistle! Fresh and clean as a whistle. That's Irish spring. Fresh and clean as a whistle. Oh, it's delicious. Um, also, I know a lot of people prefer the style of 60 ounce cans, because they're monsters. But uh, these are six packs of 12 ounce cans. I like that better. Yeah, I, I personally do as well. Yeah. Uh, I retail for $14.99. I think it's a great price. 72 ounces of uh, yeah. really, really, really good beer. So Zed, would you recommend this to a customer? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> so Zach recommends this. I recommend it. I think it's really good. Um, there's if you like hazy IPAs but you don't like when they're too sweet. Yeah. But it's still there. Oh it's no, it's up front you get that sweet. It's too sweet. I think if you like hazy IPAs, man, it's just gonna give you a different like a just slightly but every color is different. There's people that like the sweet ones. Different profile. I don't. Well I think a, a big thing too is that they didn't go like with the uh, the pipe works. Where they, they got oats in it, it pumped up the mouth. Yeah, so if you're looking for that really, really fluffy. If you want that really thick mouthfeel, this isn't it. No. This fits on the clean end of the spectrum. This would be a, a decent gateway New England style for a West Coast style. If you're going from West Coast to New England, yeah, I can see that, yeah. On the clean side for the style. Mm-hmm. And again, off the nose, really herbaceous, slightly dank. There's just a lot going on for being so. So clean, really. So I just, yeah, I love it when you, you know, we get to try a beer that from point A to point B, it's just perfectly streamlined. Everything plays well with each other. All right, all right, cheers. (laughs) I don't care. I'm so close at that. I think I'd warm my glass. It's hard to tell me. I know it is hard to tell. Hey, Aaron texted me. What does this dude want? <laughs> Dang, we can talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> bye guys. Wow. We'll see you next time. This beer is delicious. Drink yeah, it. Later. Absolutely. Yeah, I done did a lot of things in my day I admit it, I don't take back what I say If I said it, then I meant it All my life I won a Grammy, but I probably